Hey, I'm Midnight, and today I'm going to show you how to bind multiple ping wheels. Basically, as you can see, if I middle click, I have all these, you know, yes, be right back, thanks, and like, you know, you can see the pings. And then if I press J on my keyboard and I middle click again, you'll see they change from yes turned into going in, be right back, and turn into going into gank. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory. Basically, you can just put keys on your keyboard that can toggle between up to four ping wheels, and it's fairly easy, fairly step by step. So, I'm going to teach you how to do it now. Okay, so you can do this on both Linux and Windows in pretty much the same way. I'm going to be demonstrating this on Windows because I know most people in watching this video and in general use Windows, so I'm, you know, on my little virtual machine. But all you want to do, first up, you want to go to Steam, you want to go to Deadlock, you want to right-click Deadlock, go to Properties, then you want to go to Installed Files and click Browse right here. Next up, once this loads, sorry, the virtual machine is a little slow, you want to double-click Game, double-click Citadel, double-click Con, or CFG, short for Config. And then we're just going to put this to the side for a second. We just want to have this open. So for the next step, if you know how to create Citadel or like config files, do it whatever way you want. But if you don't know, if you're new to this, the easiest way to do it is just you open Notepad. You go to Notepad. And then you're going to copy and paste the first thing in the description, um, which I have it. It's pinned in my Discord. So I will copy and paste it from my Discord. But this will also be directly in the description. We paste this. And basically, this is how many ping wheels you want to have. Um, so I only want to have two. So I'm just going to delete these, you know, ping wheel three and ping wheel four. Again, this is not how many additional ping wheels you want to have. It's how many ping wheels you want to have in total. Initially, I only set up one thinking um, the game would keep my original and then it'd be an additional one. But if you want to, you set up two. And the only other thing to note here is um, the little bind thing. You whatever this is, this is just whatever key you're going to click. I leave it on default H and J. You can change this to like I, O, P, whatever you want. The only caveat is that you don't want it to be something that's already, you already have bound in deadlock or it can get like funky, but you can also rechange deadlock binds. However you want, H and J work fine though. Again, I use H and J. The next step is we want to click file right here. And then we want to click save as. I recommend saving this to your desktop so you can easily access it. And you want to call it auto exec dot cfg. That is auto exec dot cfg. I will also have this in the description. And then make sure for save as type, you change this to all files and then just click save. Next, you know, if you save this to the desktop like me, you'll see it right here on your desktop. And then you can just drag it into this config folder that we made previously. That's now we have it ready to ring the read the ping wheels but now we actually need to create the ping wheels and what pings we want to have on the ping wheels so first step right click press uh new and then new folder call this ping underscore wheels no caps i'm think pretty sure that matters uh no caps and then we just want to reopen notepad to create the you know the different ping wheels we want i recommend just you know you can type gibberish on your keyboard and then you do file save as and then we want to call this one dot cfg and then again make sure to use save as type all files again also save this i recommend desktop wherever you can easily access it then we close this it should just be called one if you have something enabled in your settings to show full file name i believe it will also say like one dot cfg but if it just says one you hover over it and it says type cfg file that is fine we drag it in here then you want to make a copy. Sorry, I know, normally you would obviously use Control C and Control V, but virtual machine things I cannot. Then you want to rename the second one you just made by going to Properties and then just calling it Two. And then you would do this for however many ping wheels you want or had in the previous section. You would do this again. I just am using two ping wheels, so I'm only going to do this twice. I would just copy, paste, name it three. If I had a third ping wheel, and obviously you know the same for the fourth. Now. That we actually have the files the like config files that we want and now you again want to go to this video's description and you want to copy and paste this the ping wheel underscore phrase and then the numbers and then now to actually find the pings we want to bind again you're going to go back to this to the description and you're going to go to this website which i will have linked in the description basically this website just you know going in it's ping id is one help to you get the idea. So say I want my top ping to be no. First off, we see no is ID 17. So we know we want to have it be 17. But how do we know which one is the actual top? So credit to Farewell Noob. He's the one who brought how to do this to my attention. And he's the one who made this little guide and this little image. But this shows top slot is zero. And then it just clockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So whatever you want to be your top slot, you will go into this dock and you'll see it as ping wheel phrase zero. And then again, I wanted to buy no to the top slot, so I'll do 17. And then let's say I want to buy going in to, you know, the next slot to the right of that. Come back to this dock, just put a one after, and then I want to bind, you know, uh, and then next I want to bind like, okay, I'm a support main, so I want to have can heal bound, so I'll bind that. You just do 33, and then, you know, uh, for the sake of this, I'm just going to do like random ones, but whichever specific pings you want, just looking at this website, you just put them down here, make sure there's a space in between the end of the phrase and the number, and it's as easy as that. Just make sure you want to click file and then you want to save it before you exit it. Um, just make sure to do that and then we're done with the first wheel obviously you do the same with the second wheel again once it opens just copy and paste delete what you put and then copy and paste what is in the description and then uh, you know same thing with pings i'm just going to do random stuff because this isn't you know my actual like what i care about and then both of your docs should look like this and these are just you know the different pings again based on id make sure again you save it you can then close them both and you're done. It's as easy as that. Now all you have to do is launch deadlock and whichever keys you bound, which again by default are H and J, will just act as a way for you to toggle between your ping wheels. This is again on my main system and on my virtual machine because you can't actually run deadlock in a VM, well in an Oracle box VM. So these are pings are not the exact ones I bound, but obviously, you know, you can see it working. I can switch between the two pings with H and J and it's as easy as that. This is not anything close to my normal content, and I don't expect this video to do well at all, but I just wanted to have this guide out here, because especially as I now I'm going to be streaming, streaming with multiple ping wheels, I know people are going to be asking a lot. And it's also something I just know the community has kind of wanted a more in-depth guide on. Again, so much credit to Farewell Noob for actually teaching me how to do this myself for this video. If you have any issues with this, I will do my best to help you. Just comment below what's wrong, and I again, we will try to troubleshoot. Um, This should be relatively just like copy and paste so if you have an issue i'd recommend just rewatch the guide and make sure that you named everything right and you put everything in the right place um and then yeah maybe you could try changing the binds or like the key that says bind and then before you like comment you know restart your system and see if that works and then if none of that works we you know comment and i will do my best to help and if I cannot help, I'm sure you could, you know, join my Discord, ask one of my community. One thing I kind of forgot to mention, and one thing that tripped me up is, um, I, I mentioned this, but I kind of like, I didn't say it specifically. Again, the keys you put in binds are a toggle between your ping wheels. They are not the actual key you press to access your ping wheel. I always did more time than I'd like to admit, just, you know, not knowing that. So, hope you enjoyed. You know what to do if you like the video. And I guess... If there's any other like guide things you haven't seen a YouTube translation of, I guess let me know and then yeah, keep it real.